Hello y'all, this is Todd and Jared from Weep What You Sow. We're fixing to get, go in the back over here and build us a pen for our buck. We're fixing to hook this uh, post hole digger up to the tractor and Jared's gonna learn to run the tractor and the post hole digger for the first time. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. What you think? I think we can do it. But we have to get Badger out of there with the girls. Uh, he's our Nigerian uh, dwarf buck, and so we'll be, be building him a pen not too far from uh, where my garden is, but he says he stinks. I don't smell him, so he doesn't bother me. I can smell it a little bit, but it's not overpowering that I, he's got to move now, like he says. He stinks. <laughs> he needs to go. All right, we're going to show you how Todd hooks this uh post hole digger to the tractor. I had to think of what it was. Okay, guys, he is fishing to hook that with that drill thing to the back of his tractor. A neighbor of ours let us borrow this because we don't have one for a tractor, but we will be getting one. You want me to try to set the camera up, baby, and help you? Just pins in. So what is that on the back of the tractor that's holding that thing? What fish you looking at? The, them two bars you're pinning that too. What's that called? I don't know. Arms or something? Yeah, it's just arms with pins in it. So what's going to make it drill? The PTO. Got it? So, uh, where's the piece at that's going to turn the blade? This. Oh, okay. That long bar right there that's on the ground, that's what he's talking about, that's going to make the little blade spin. Right that's I'm a... I'm going to start the tractor. Okay, so it's going to be loud for a little bit, guys. Slides over this PTO right here. Push that button in. And you work it on. You turn it loose and you hear it snap. That button comes out. That's a piece of lock on there. Alright, this is a pin right here. This is the gearbox. The PTO turns this and that's what drills the hole. Every once in a while, you'll break these pins right here. It's a shear pin. This is what keeps it from tearing something up. Let's head to the back and get that pin going.
Okay. We're doing what we do, using what we got. Where did these come from, baby? Out that barn that Rita tore down? Yeah. Guys, it might be a little windy. I apologize in advance. We always using what we got around here. Yeah, his daddy used to have a uh, sawmill and uh, the electric company gave him old uh, power poles and he uh, cut these posts up. And that's where these come from. But they were on a big barn in the back back there. And when Hurricane Rita come, uh, she just tore that thing to pieces. Okay, what next? I'm going to have to cut a pole so I can pack them down. All right, guys. We'll be back with you. Look, he went to get that gate, y'all, and he picked up some hitchhikers. See that head sticking out on the side waving? <laughs> That's Charlie Gate. Kelly's in the middle. We got to do this gate, y'all. Good morning, everybody. When I say morning, it's almost noon now. I got all my corner posts done. Got my first line down. What I did is I run a bob wire down from one end to the other, try and keep a straight line. Got all my corner posts in. Got all my corner posts all tied up. Let me show you what I did. All right, that's the corner post we put in. Yesterday, me and Jared put an iron bar across the center, a two inch piece of pipe. More or less just using what I got, y'all. Put me X brace in it. And that holds your corner tight. I went to the other end and did the same thing all the way down there on the other end. And then I took and run me a bob wire from that end to this one. You see it down there on the bottom. And what that does is give you a straight line from one end to the other. Now I'm fixing to put my post down, my uh, steel post, T post, all the way to the other end. And then you stand your fence up and start tying it. And then I'm going to come back and put my bob wire on top. All right, y'all. I'm still over here putting this fence up. I got, I got all my posts down. I got my wire stretched out, and I'm putting these little clips on here. I want to show y'all how I put these on there with this right here. It's a plain old screwdriver, flat Phillip. It really don't matter. It's the length that you want them. Something real short. Now they make a tool for this to put these on, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just loop that around right here. I got my bottom one done, done. Pull your fence tight, clip one side, take this and put it on there, and just run it around. 
makes it very, very easy with this little tool, just regular screwdriver, y'all. I just wanted to show you all that. I'll show you real slow how to do it. Put the one side on her, come around, push it over the top, put your screwdriver in there and just run your screwdriver. If you got a long handle, your long handle is going to hit right here. With that short handle, it goes right around, goes just right around it. Very, very simple that way. That's one of them little things, little tricks that you learn after doing this for a while. We built a lot of fence around here and put a lot of these in. And that's something they don't show you. You know, I mean, they got them little packs that come in when you buy your uh, post. They get you so many for each pack. I mean, it's one little pack for every five posts or something like that. So you don't even have to buy them extra. They come with your T-posts when you buy them. Uh, I know Tractor Supply does it anyway. I just wanted to show you all that little tip. It's just, just something to kind of help out a little bit. I have uh, started this fence really early this morning. Worked on it until about 1, 2 o'clock. I went in the house, took a shower, took me a little nap. Well, I'm back at it again. I'm going to try to hit it a couple more hours. Hang with me. I'll show you the rest of it. I picked up little tricks over the years of doing this. And it just, I don't mind sharing with y'all some of the stuff that I've learned, you know, as I go. It's, I do a little bit of everything out here. It's, when you're in on, on a homestead, you're going to have to learn how to do everything. It's just so wide or broad of things that you got to know and learn. You know, and I I just enjoy going bringing y'all along and showing you this little stuff. We was, uh, I was thinking about it a while ago. During high school, years ago. During football practice and stuff. Well, the guys would get there early in the mornings. Or in the evening, you know, in the evening times before practice. And work out. They'd hit the weights really, really hard. Well, I never did that. And everybody was wondering how I was keeping up with everybody else. Can I show y'all something? This thing right here is heavy. And you drive post all day long, you're going to have wind. You're going to build your muscles up. That baby right there will make a believer out of you. It will work you to death. There's stuff nowadays to do it all. Automatic, automatic hammers. Very nice. If you got a whole lot of fence to do, they, they would be nice to have. That thing right there is very, very handy. I don't know, they sell like 25, 30 bucks at tractor supply. But you need that, it'll save you. Another trick, I'm gonna tell you about that in a little story. When you're driving in post, don't come up too high with it. It will come off the top and come back and hit you right in the mouth. And it don't feel good. Little experience, believe me, it hurts. All right, y'all, I'm on the fence today still. That's my corner post. Got the X bracing in. I got my wire, my netting wire up. And right now I'm fixing to stretch that top wire, which is bob wire. I, I got a bob wire on the top and the bottom. Now that step there you don't have to do, but it it tightens up your fence a lot. You can hold your bottom extra by tying the bottom to the bob wire. And it makes your fence a little higher on the top. You can see I got it all stretched out. Now I'm fixing to tighten it all down. And that's going to be it for back here. Then I'll go work on the gate. All right, y'all. Well, I got the, the buck pen all done for our goats. And I got the little, uh, I call it a little caban. It ain't nothing but some, a little tin building for him to get out of the weather. Got the gate up, got it complete. I got a little bracing left to do on the little shed I built for him. Um, show y'all around a little bit on it and that's, that's gonna be it on this one right here, y'all. Ain't nothing but a little tin building. Got him a long lane to run down. Maybe we can get some grass growing in there. 
There's the gate. It's got water right here on the side. And that's it. It's been a long day. We got us a fire built back in the back. I don't know if y'all can see it back there on the other side of the garden. See the smoke coming up. Got the grandbabies over here. Time to chill out for a little while. God bless y'all. Catch you on the next one. Later.